A question today is brought to you by RealCrowd.com for professional crowdfunding. Check them out. Question is, Michael, if a seller asks a broker to sell a property and the property doesn't comply with the existing zoning, what should the broker do? Well, a couple of things. I try to keep these short. So, one, uh, check the zoning. If it's not proper, have a discussion with the seller. Maybe it's grandfathered. Maybe you should get some sort of proof from the municipality that it is grandfathered to make sure the buyers know uh, that it's grandfathered and that there's any potential detriments to that rather than just proper zoning. Um, second D, secondarily, um, if it's being used for an improper use that zoning doesn't allow and the seller's asking you to market it, I would make sure the seller understands the potential liability there. What if you're marketing it for uh, use, he's using it for a use, and, uh, and that gets out because you're marketing it, zoning enforcement comes and shuts him down. He may lose income, he may have tenants that they have the problem with. So in some cases, you might not want to market a property like that. Uh, you may want to uh, be very careful with that and make sure that, and, and, and with buyers, you just want to make sure buyers are aware of everything, um, you know, that they know what the zoning is, what the use, what's in proper condition. So when in doubt, um, divulge everything um, so that you have a clear conscience and good reputation and you're pre-managing deals to make sure they actually close. So uh, find out the zoning, find out if it's grandfathered, be clear with any purchaser lender involved, um, and make sure if there's a chance that the seller's existing use could be shut down, that he's aware of that potential liability before you take it to market. If we might be of service, you're invited to reach out to us. Thank you.